before I show you the little device what's going to help you stop doing that, let's just show you and make sure you are doing this filter correct. Now to strip this bowl is incredibly easy. So you can see there's a cap here on the top and there's a little trackway here. So all you do is twist the top away from you and it comes apart. Now the PTFE filter has two sides to it. So it's got like a pointy end and it's got like a flat end. Now the pointy end is designed to fit inside there. So it goes in like that. But what TPI are finding is engineers are putting them in that way because it's easier to put them in that way and it still goes together easily but it's leaving a gap and water is then passing through the filter whereas if you put the filter the correct way around it's a bit more fiddly to get in but it makes it all watertight for you and stops any of the moisture from the bowl getting above the PTFE filter and then into your analyzer, corroding the pump and uh, breaking it. Now, if you're allowing your bowl to get water in here, then you're doing it wrong. This is just a safety device in case something seriously happens. Now, if you fill this bowl up with water, it will stop the pump from running. But you don't want it to be doing that because what it also does is it saturates your filter. So if your filter isn't hard like this one and it's all soggy and soft, you need to change it and you need to change it on a regular basis. Now for me, always have a couple of these. I have one on the dashboard of the van when I'm working and I keep swapping them regular so it dries it out constantly so you can get extra life out of them. Also, if they get saturated with CO2 as well, it gives you the wrong readings. Now, let's see if this PTFE filter in this uh, TPI condensate trap will actually stop liquid going through it like it's designed to do if you actually install it correctly. So what I've got here is some apple and black currant sugar free obviously but the first thing I'm going to do is turn the pump on so I've got my app ready 